Hear me and be gone. So I don't know we like to torture the, the gamers. We like to force them to look uh, into their own morality and make difficult choices. Fine, banish him. You want to banish him? Oh, yeah? him. That was easy. Well, you want to banish him more than... I'm just like, okay. Banisher's Ghost of New Eden is a new narrative-driven action RPG set in North America, Massachusetts. Red and Arthur are banishers, deeply in love. They are people who have sworn to protect the living from the dead. They live by the mantra, life to the living, death to the dead. They have been facing a very powerful and unknown entity. They have not been able to defeat it. And Antia dies at the end of the game's prologue. Even more tragically, she comes back as a ghost. That means she has become the thing she hates the most on Earth. <laughs> Antea is the head. She's the head banisher. She's really good at it. She's been doing it for a really long time. She's very skillful. Um, she's really clean and clear about her decisions. She doesn't let emotions get in the way, rarely. Sometimes it happens, but not often. And she's teaching Red how to banish. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. So Red's a complex character. He carries a lot of grief with him in life and uh, he does defer to, to, to Antea quite a lot and the relationship's interesting. He's not kind of a straightforward archetype despite kind of what he, lo he looks like, you know? I think in the relationship he has shades of codependency and things like that. You know, he's a warrior. He's a soldier, ultimately, but um, I think there's a kind of interesting softness to him as well at times that usually comes out in the relationship with Antea. Mm. I have you. You have me. When Antea comes back as a ghost, the couple has to decide what they will do. They could give her the ascent, meaning they will let her go, or try to bring her back by trying to resurrect her. That means Red will have to betray his banisher's oath. That means he will have to take as many lives as possible to feed Antia with souls and try to bring her back from the dead. I banish you. Great tormentor. I banish you. Hammer and Tongues in one, is one of the first uh, hunting cases Red and Antia will have to solve. Nelly is hunted by the ghost of her dead husband. Fortune Easton has been dead for quite a time now. Arthur has taken the place of Fortune Eaton for the whole community. Fortune Eaton, the real Fortune Eaton, was a terrible husband. A wound? No. You're pathetic. I want a divorce! Oh. I warned you this would happen again. The poor Nelly met a nice guy, Arthur, and they killed Fortune Eaton, the real one. And Arthur took his identity. And now they both live as a happy couple in uh, New Eden Town, but the ghost of fortune, the real fortune hidden, is back on his quiet beast. So now it's time for you to make a choice as the player. You could decide to banish the awful ghost. You could decide to bring him peace and give him the ascent. If you have decided to bring back Antia to life, if you want to resurrect her, that means you have to gather as many souls as possible. That means you will have to sacrifice perhaps Nelly, perhaps Arthur. That's an awful choice, but if you want to resurrect Antia, you have to sacrifice the living. You made a pact. That means you stick to a decision you made or not. There are five different endings that will reveal and reflect the sum of the many decisions you had to make. I hope you will find all of them very entertaining and surprising. Well, the banishing as a Maka feels harsh because you, I feel like you're, you're sending a spirit off to have a torturous life. He was angry and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. If it was you, put yourself in Nelly's shoes. Put yourself in Nelly's shoes. What do you want to, what would you do? Banish him. Yeah, if I was so making a decision based on... Just Send, send yeah. him into the void, suffer in torment. Yeah, that's justice for Nelly. It that's just feels like really, bad karma. That, that's just 
that's up to you. That's what the game is about. That's up to you. Just want him to say sorry. <laughs> maybe, no, maybe he will. Happen. Just try will it. Will he speak? Mm, he will, maybe. Just try. Give him the assent. If you, if I want to give him the assent. Okay. Uh, as on, a player. Do, do, assent. Assent. Oh, no, you're okay. going to say banish. No, no, go on. Do the assent. Assent, okay. Quick to anger, your cruel brutality left your wife in despair. You treat her as a possession. They stole my name and took my life. Tough. But now you leave Nelly alone. She's not yours and never was. I'm giving you the peaceful way out. Count yourself lucky. Yeah. Count yourself lucky, You're mate. Good, He's not going to say sorry. Go in peace. He didn't say sorry. Nah, should have banished him. <sighs> he might still say sorry. This is your choice. It's your chance to say sorry. How do you feel about your decision? I don't now? know. It feels weirdly un uh, unsatisfying. Yeah. Do you want to see the the, the banish hand? Yes, yes, can we? Okay. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I am Fortune Hayton. Ever was and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Ooh. I banish you! Ooh. Oh my this gosh. is more satisfying. This is horrible. This is way more satisfying. Yes. I think he deserved it. He definitely yeah. deserved it. He deserved that. That wasn't too bad. I just feel like we're going to pay for it later. Maybe. But mm. that, that, that's what banishers do. We found it hard to, to agree. Yeah, I find it hard to agree. I think it's it's also quite hard to divorce yourself from the character that you're playing. Obviously, we're playing the game as ourselves, but then we've played, we've acted the game out as the character. But I think when we arguing, when we were arguing it, yeah. you, Russ, wanted to do what Antea would do. Yes, that's and right. And I actually wanted to do what Red would do. Yeah, so really I should have played Antea and you should have played Red. <laughs> that would have been yeah, no, that's right. terrible. So I hope you enjoyed this short journey with me, Red and Atea, in the dark places of New Eden Town. And I can't wait to see the players face the many challenges and choices they will have to deal with in Banishers Ghost of New Eden. I've done nothing wrong! Life's a journey. Death is but one step. Antea. What have you done with her? That was Pulse. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love.